Hi everyone. In many of your applications, you probably need to authenticate some users. And we covered authentication on this channel quite a lot. Though with Laravel 5.3, there were some changes to authentication. And I'm not talking about Passport, which was a brand new feature added to it to create your own OAuth 2 server. I'll cover this in some extra videos. No, I'm talking about the default authentication and especially route protection, where we do need to make some adjustments to make our application work again. Which adjustments? Let's have a look. Actually, authentication in Laravel 5.3 saw quite some enhancements, especially with the introduction of Passport, which is an extra package integrated into Laravel, which makes it easy for you to set up your own OAuth 2 server, which is especially useful for API-related authentication, for example. Now, I will have dedicated videos, or one video, I'll see how many it will be, on Passport in one of the next weeks. In this video, I want to focus on the changes to the default normal authentication, especially the change of the middleware we can use to protect some routes. So let's compare the Laravel 5.2 um, setup on the right here with the Laravel 5.3 setup on the left. Well, one thing we can not notice is that the user model in 5.2 looked like this, user extends authenticatable, and then, well, this is the basic user model we may use for our own authentication. In Laravel 5.3, it looks pretty similar, but there's one new thing, this is this use notifiable here. Now, I know the code is not super big to read here, but basically we do have the same setup of the user models, but this use notifiable here is new. Now, that's not directly connected to authentication. It's a trait we can use or we need if we want to use Laravel's notifications, which were also added with 5.3, but about which I'm not going to talk in this video. So that's not really a change impacting authentication. So from this point of view, the user model did not really change. Now what did change is if we go in the 5.2 setup in the HTTP folder and then in middleware, we see the authenticate PHP file here, which is the auth middleware, which you could see in the kernel PHP file was assigned to auth here. Now to make this a bit more readable, I'll actually expand this over the full window size. So this auth middleware here was pointing to the app HTTP middleware authenticate file, so to this file here. And it was this auth middleware we could use in our routes file to basically protect the route with middleware and then simply auth like this. And this would make sure that only authenticated users were able to visit this. You could of course also use the syntax with the squared brackets and then protect it with the middleware key. So that was the 5.2 world. And in the authenticate PHP file, which in the end was the middleware applied, you could control where you want to redirect the user if authentication fails. So if he was not authenticated, that you then want to redirect the user to the login screen, for example, here as a default setup. Now in 5.3, that changed. If we have a look at the HTTP middleware folder, we see that we don't have the authenticate PHP file anymore. If we have a look at the kernel file, we see the off middleware is still there, but it's pointing to some middleware deeply integrated into the core framework. So it's not a file we can edit. We, of course, we could edit it, but we shouldn't edit any files in the core framework. Instead, we have to find some other way to handle authentication errors or to handle the case that the user is trying to access a route who is not allowed to access. Because maybe we don't want to use the default redirection, pointing to the login view here, but maybe we want to still change this. Now, how can we change this if the file is moved to a place where we shouldn't edit it? The answer can be found in the exceptions folder. Now with the authenticate middleware being moved to the core framework, what now happens is it actually throws an error, an exception, whenever we try to access a route we're not allowed to access. Therefore, in the exceptions file, we get the handler PHP file, 
and this file is not empty and indeed it already has this part down here, the unauthenticated uh, function here. This function here was is basically triggered whenever we have an authenticated exception and such, a, and such an exception is risen whenever we're trying to access a route we're not allowed to do. So whenever we're using a route which has the auth middleware and we're not authenticated. Then we get the unauthenticated middleware, uh, exception, excuse me, and we reach this function. Now, as you can see, this function looks very similar to the old authenticate middleware here. We are still checking if we do have a JSON request, in which case we want to return some JSON. Otherwise, we want to redirect to the login view with redirect guest. And that's exactly the same logic we had here in 5.2 in the authenticate PHP file. So long story short, the new place to edit the behavior Laravel should show when you try to access a route you're not allowed to access is to be found here in this handler PHP file in the unauthenticated function. So this is the place where you make edits if you want to basically change the behavior Laravel should use there. And that's just a new way of thinking that you're no longer editing the file, but instead the exception which is now risen by Laravel. And that's really all. And with that, you're still able to attach the auth middleware to any of the routes you want to protect. And it is in this file here in 5.3 that you, that, that, that you then decide what you want to do. These are the core changes I want to talk about in this video. As I said, I will have dedicated videos on Passport to dive deeper into this. So see you in the other videos. Bye.